all right what's going on youtube today we got another fighting game discussion video for you guys as for this video i kind of wanted to address the question of which is more important for modern fighting games nowadays rollback netcode or crossplay yeah before we get started i just want you guys to leave your comments and your thoughts in the comments below of which you guys prefer and which you guys think is more important for fighting games to have nowadays because yeah both have their pros and cons obviously the pros of having good rollback and good netcode is very important nowadays for playing games online and i think most fighting games in general if they don't have crossplay they at least try to incorporate rollback and you've seen a lot of past fighting games like Dragon Ball, Fighters, Samurai Showdown, and there's a few others that I can't think of right now, but we've seen developers bring rollback netcode to those fighting games now because they've been so high in demand. But there's also a few setbacks with rollback netcode, which we'll get into later. And then of course the positives of having crossplay is just of course being able to play with anybody on any console or any gaming machine. And I think that that is a huge plus. Crossplay I think is just something that video games in general have needed for so long and seeing actually some of these games that I play have crossplay in this day and age is just crazy. It's it's like finally, you know, finally I can play a game on PlayStation with another person playing on Xbox, right? Like years ago that would have been a dream, but now it's actually a reality, right? For some cases anyway, but still not for all. But let's get into a little bit of the setbacks, right? So for rollback, in my opinion, rollback isn't like the end all be all savior of online, right? I think people act like like rollback will just save any bad connection and that is just not the case at all if you have a bad connection with someone rollback is not gonna save you and in my opinion i would actually prefer delay based netcode instead of rollback because there are some games that have rollback but still have shit netcode like street fighter 5 and the experience is just awful playing that game online and then there's games like Skullgirls where it does have rollback and most people say it's pretty good but in my opinion the rollback kills that game for me when i play that game online and i play against someone with a bad connection the rollback makes it to where you see some of their moves come out and then the game retracts itself to those moves not coming out and this is a huge problem because there'll be instances where i hit someone and i see the animation of my character hitting them and then the game retracts three seconds back to me not hitting them and then they're just mashing buttons so then in actuality the game says oh we thought that you hit them but actually they hit you for some reason and it's just like feels like it's just random when the game wants to choose between me actually landing the hit and them actually landing the hit and it's just like it's so frustrating so annoying and just a really bad experience to play in my opinion so that's why i'm not really excited for a lot of these games getting rollback because i feel like it's just going to make the online experience much worse and i would rather just have the game lag like it's supposed to instead of the game trying to predict my movements for me because i feel like games were not meant to do that so sometimes it doesn't always work out um, in my opinion i would just rather have good net code or like net code that is just you know solid instead of have it be rollback and the experiences i've had with skull girls or street fighter 5 has just been completely awful and i have a much better time playing games like dead or alive where the online just isn't rollback um, but obviously like there are games that do have rollback that you know i've never had problems with either like dnf duel people really like to hype up the rollback of strive and like the net code of guilty gear strive but to be honest i've never had issues with guilty gear exard rev 2 like every time i've played that game online it's been really solid i've never had lag or any issues with anyone at all and i've played against people that were in different countries in that game and i've never really had issues at all so when people were like hyping up strive and like the the net code for strive i was like well i did you know i just i didn't really even care because i never had issues with the previous guilty gear so it was just like weird to me and i don't know i feel like people just really want to die on this hill that rollback is the end all be all but in my opinion that's just not the case and i guess it just depends on the player and what they prefer for their online experience but in my opinion rollback is not the way for me i think the reason why people like rollback is because it is a pretty like set on experience of like okay you're gonna deal with with this really shitty experience of sometimes seeing moves come out and then they actually don't come out and like vice versa with 
seeing moves land on you and then they actually don't land or whatever like it, it just looks janky feels janky and jittery and feels like the game is glitching and it's just really annoying but like that's kind of what you're going to experience with a bad connection versus if you don't have that sometimes you might get different forms of lag you know you might play someone and then it just completely freezes there's like the freeze lag or there's like the really delayed lag where you input something and it comes out like five seconds later you know there's just like those different forms of lag that I feel like rollback netcode makes it to where those different forms of lag don't exist and it's just that one form of lag but in my opinion that one form of lag is way worse than any of the other ones like that's like the worst form of lag I'd rather my moves lag out or the screen freeze or whatever than have the game glitch out and and show me moves that aren't really even happening like that to me is the worst experience absolute worst so yeah that's like the downside for me to having rollback netcode for a modern fighting game and to me I think that is much worse than the downside of having crossplay to fighting games. I think the downside of having crossplay come to modern fighting games, to be honest, I don't think there's much of a downside because I mean, you just get to play with more people, right? But I will say it can be a little bit complicated, especially from a developer standpoint, because you have to think about, okay, what consoles are actually going to be crossplay for each other, right? Because we have games like Mortal Kombat 11, where it is crossplay between PlayStation and Xbox, but at the same time, it's not crossplay for Switch and any other console, right? It's not crossplay between PC and any console. It's only crossplay between PlayStation and Xbox, which again, it's cool that it's there for those consoles, but it's like, why isn't it crossplay for the other ones? And I can already imagine why it's not crossplay for Switch because that console's ass. But I always wonder why PC wasn't crossplay with it, right? And like we have Street Fighter V where it's crossplay between PC and PlayStation. Also the same case for King of Fighters 15 come this June. Someone told me that the reason why Tekken isn't crossplay is because people on PC would cheat fighting against players on PlayStation. And I never really thought that that could be the case because I mean we have Street Fighter 5 that has crossplay between PC and PlayStation but I guess I can't really say I know too much about game development either so if that is very possible then I mean that kind of sucks. I have seen a lot of people you know debate about whether PC players that play Fortnite are actually cheating with aimbot and stuff like that so I would imagine it's something in that same realm of like people trying to cheat playing a fighting game and Fortnite is a game that is crossplay between like every console and PC so if we had a fighting game like that, I guess it would be possible for players on PC to cheat in that fighting game. And then I guess, you know, just how I mentioned earlier, like some consoles not being crossplay, like Switch, for example, like if the reason for that being the case of just the hardware itself and like the hardware maybe not being able to keep up with a PS5 or a Series X, if that's going to affect the connection or the gameplay, that could be a downside. And that's probably why MK11 isn't crossplay between other consoles, right? But I do feel like this downside is a little bit watered down because, like, there's no way a modern fighting game releases in this day and age where the developers don't pay enough attention to cheaters, right? Like, if people were cheating on PC, enough of the community would complain to the developers to where they would find a way to fix it or patch it, you know what I mean? To where they couldn't do that. Because fighting games aren't like how they were back in the day where you get a game release and then the developers just go back into the shadows right well dnf duel almost did have that same fate but you know even dnf duel came back with you know more content and, and you know new updates and stuff so i think it's safe to say that most modern fighting games release nowadays with the intent to continue support on them so i feel like the whole cheating thing wouldn't necessarily be a factor or at least i wouldn't think that it would be but i guess it's still something that could be annoying for developers to the point where they just don't want to add crossplay but still that's only from a developer standpoint i think from a consumer standpoint crossplay is easily like so much more important and me personally i would definitely choose crossplay over rollback netcode any day free because I think just having the accessibility of being able to play a game with any person on any console or any gaming machine is so important especially nowadays like there's so many fighting games that I want to play with people but oh they play on PC or oh they play on switch and I can't play with them you know like I really want to play Skullgirls with more people and I think Skullgirls would be so cool if it had crossplay because it's on literally everything right mobile PlayStation switch Xbox PC like and it's such a low storage game like it could be so cool if it had crossplay but it doesn't and it's unfortunate it would still be pretty cool just to have that right the novelty of having that of just any fighting game being able to play cross plat i think would just be really cool
and um, I think would eliminate a lot of boundaries and walls that keep players from playing with each other. Because I feel like when you find a community that you want to play the game with, like, okay, you join a Discord of, of Dead or Alive or, or Tekken players, right, and you want to play the game with them, there's still these boundaries, these walls of like, oh, this person plays on Xbox, this person plays on PlayStation. And it's like, eliminating those boundaries would be so helpful and I think keep the community alive because it's just easier. It's easier for people to access the game and access playing with their friends or other players and making new friends by playing with other players. And it, it's just so helpful to keep the community alive, you know, expand the community. And like, I don't know, I think every modern fighting game should have crossplay. Like, I think that is something they all need to incorporate. And I'm really glad that Street Fighter 6 is seemingly going that route. I would love to see that happen for Tekken 8, as well as Mortal Kombat 12, as well as just every Every new fighting game that comes out from this point on. Hell, I'd be really, really happy if they added it to past fighting games like Skullgirls, like Dragon Ball Fighters, and DOA, but I guess at this point it'd be more reasonable to expect crossplay in the DOA reboot that is coming out. But yeah, that's in my opinion what I think is more important, but I would love to hear your guys' opinion on which one you would rather have in the comments below. Crossplay? or rollback netcode. Feel free to let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. Please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. That helps me out a ton. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see y'all in the next video.